Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's October 20th, 2023. Uh, I think this is day four of working up here in the third food forest area. Uh, I haven't transplanted any more plants up here, just getting the site ready, which takes, taking all the, 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 the uh, dips and valleys and mounds down uh, throughout the whole area. Uh, I have more work to do in here to get this transition smoothed down to here. One of the goals is to be able to, to mow between things. So a lot of the earth that I've been taking out, there was a big dip in here. I've been putting that, those materials in here and the same thing next to those because there used to be swales in here, which I turned into hooviculture uh, pits. And, uh, and of course this whole area is a series of hooviculture pits all, up, all around in here, over here too. But that's uh, 12 years ago. But working next to the main swale that runs along the road here, uh, and cleaning around a lot of these trees. I haven't had to transplant any more trees. Those ones I transplanted down there. But it is coming along pretty well so far. Quite a bit of work to do here. And you might be able to appreciate that looks much smoother than it did look before. So I can get the rows of the various uh, trees up in here. <coughs> Thea's been uh, transplanting. Thea has been transplanting pawpaws and some uh, a few Chinese chestnuts uh, down next to the first food forest. And so this area here I got to work on next. And uh, so this is our old horseradish area right here. And it has become overgrown with weeds. And, and uh, I think I want to believe, asked a while back, are there any other places where, where we've um, dug hooviculture pits where there's been a sinkhole or depression? So here's one of the places that I mentioned, right in here. And it was pretty much light duty stuff uh, in here that was there. I mean, like th very thin branches, no big trunks really breaking down. And I have made videos on digging up old hula culture beds in the past, the pits, and see how quickly they break down. So about in 10 years time, good sized logs even, 12 inches in diameter, they break right down and, and decompose. And there, there is a little bit of, a, of an indentation in the surface of the ground where those locations were, especially if they're a long axis like this one was. So this was a trench down in here, about three, about six foot wide. And, uh, and you can see this here sunk in some. So when I ride over it, it's a bit of a hassle. So I wanna get the horseradish out of here. Number one, it's not in the ideal location for, for, for get it, to get things smoothed out the way I'd like it to get. Two, we always want to have things that, that uh, as close to the house as possible. So I took a look at this and said, well, I think I can fit this into a, a smaller bed over here. So what I just got done doing... So that area over there is the second food force, more mature. All the brownish looking ones are the hazelnuts over there right now. This pond two here. The Hu culture terrace is right up here, which I haven't planted yet. <coughs> I wanted to give that a few years uh to completely break down and it's uh and that really hasn't sunk there's a, cu a couple of small sinkholes in there so what i decided to do for for putting in the horseradish is dig out a small trench here and uh and i'll just fill this up with our compost so i'll fill this up with the compost this i'll go ahead there's low spots over here Always looking for stuff, and that's what, what our ground looks like right there. Real rocky. And so I'll fill this up with compost, then transplant the, uh, the horseradish into this. 
I think this will be long enough. It'll be pretty densely populated, but uh, that should work out. So we are expecting some rain here shortly. So I'm gonna get, get on the hulk, get this earth moved, then go get some compost in here. And I might start digging up some of the horseradish as well, but I'll have to separate those roots from all the weeds. So that's our update today. Pretty happy with the progress we made up there. <clears throat> Thea's happy with the, uh, the trees she got transplanted and all. And they're, they're young. Uh, these are root suckers that, for the most part, and saplings. So, so that's what we, or one year old uh, Chinese chestnuts. So that's it for today's video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks so much for watching and stay safe. Take good care of yourselves and uh, enjoy the beautiful fall colors.